Peace and power family, you're now multidimensionally tuned in. In today's video, I want to talk about manifestation. All right, let me give you the ABC and how I manifest things into my reality. You see, my whole life, you see, my whole life, I've been, I actually never really knew that. Manif I, like, I've been, I've manifested a lot of things since I was like, um, I started to notice that I could manifest, right, since I was like 15, but I didn't really know, like, I, didn't, I couldn't really put it in paper, but now, that I can put it in paper. If I track back to that time, I realize, oh, this is why I achieved this thing that I wanted to achieve in the first place. Now, how does this work? What is manifestation? Manifestation is the act of bringing forth to life something that, was, that existed in the realm of thoughts and ideas into this ego, just into the realm of the ego. And it's to bring it to life in the way you want it to happen. You get me? And you must understand that to manifest something, you need to be in tune, right? You can't be off tune and manifest all right this is the simple math the universe has a frequency as you i expect you to know that the, the okay the universe has the, the earth vibrates at 432 terahertz this is very important you see the number there 432 this just helps you to put into tune that four plus three plus two is nine together right it has nine is the is the number for for infinite for completion all right nine is like uh is is, is the perfect number right we are nine eater beings, right? Nine eater, that's perfect. Nine, if you're number nine, it means like you are all, right? That's what it means. Anyways, I think it's, 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 is it eight or nine that has to do with completion? Anyways, let's get to what's important. Now, how do you manifest? Now, you need to put the thought form first. You need to have a thought. Now, I want to explain this to you in a density form. You must understand that. Now, you have, there's four levels to manifestation, okay? Now, we must understand that there's, and this is the way I explain it, right? There's four levels, or rather four vibrations to manifestation. Now, you can subscribe to any of these vibrations, but you must have in your mind and understand that this vibration is only, the, 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 the four different vibrations have, the, have four different, you know, uh, frequencies at which they, you know, uh, present your man the, 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 the intention that you have into a manifestation all right so respectively these four vibrations are the vibration of thoughts the vibration of speaking the vibration of writing and the vibration of action is simple you already get the answer do you now this is the thing now we must understand that right all things start with thoughts thoughts are things right so most people 95 percent if not 99 percent of people who want things in their life right have to think about it before you everybody has to think about something before you manifest it right so it has to stand the realm of thoughts now now this is a thing so we have thoughts so let's imagine thoughts like thoughts is the lowest way to manifest right but it is the most so it, for it being the the, the lowest uh, of of the four for for thoughts being the lowest manifestation intention intention vibration you understand because first, you must understand that you need intentions to create manifestations, right? It's like just like breathing in and breathing out, right? Intentions create manifestations. We are constantly setting intentions whether we like it or not. As I'm talking to you now, everything I'm saying, everything I'm speaking out, it is speaking things into existence and that is the intention. And the manifestation, it will manifest in someone else's life, maybe as a new information, as something good. You probably might have been thinking about manifestation. The universe has a crazy way of putting things into, you know, into your presence. All you have to do is be in the vibration frequency for it now all right thoughts is the lightest form of setting intentions so what i prescribe and what i advise if you want to set intentions is you need to leave the vibration that everybody is vibrating on which is thoughts and transcend to the to the to the next level of to the next intensity you know of setting your intentions and what why you have to do this is because listen now you need to be able to look at everything from a um from a fourth dimensional perspective and when i mean fourth dimension in a third dimension third dimensionally when i mean four dimension i mean you're creating and controlling a body right but then you're not you're not observing it from inside the body right that's from inside the, the body that's the third dimension like how we can see now that's the um, but fourth dimension is i'm seeing myself from the back all right like you're playing gta and you come out of the only eye view to the back view that's a fourth dimension so you need to be able to imaginatively right um you need to be able to imaginatively see it right that's the fourth dimension that's the simple idea right this is what so when you see people saying i'm a fifth dimensional being they have raised their vibration right to the point where they try they don't 
their mentality right is it's very possible for your mind to shift in its density of lightness or you know your mind everything works in density in this universe i'm telling you even the planets have densities of intelligence everything is a density of something you just need to understand that that's the law of vibration and the law of um what's it called again that's the law of vibration and it, i think it has a lot to also do with well if i want to say the law of rhythm but i'm gonna just keep it to that the law of vibration because everything has its own vibration and everything is one at the same time so you must understand that everything is attuned to different vibrations because right and it's that way in our reality because not everybody can you know this is why we have the one percent and the, the 90 something percent what i'm trying to say now is that now when you think of something frequently this obviously what this does this this creates intention right this is creates intention in form of auto suggestion all right you heard about auto suggestion that's the vibration of certain intention and then when you keep on auto suggesting things that directly has an impact on on programming things to your mind your subconscious mind remember you have two minds your conscious and your subconscious and you have your conscious and your subconscious mind okay this is your conscious mind here and this is your subconscious mind in your gut all right and now your heart your heart now you must understand something now your heart is like it's also your mind but your heart is the one that does the interdimensional um transfer of information from this dimension to the other dimension okay and you need your heart to be empathetically connected and in order to manifest you need to apply emotional energy so first things first you have to use your heart now create a, a feeling of emotion love what you want love that thing you want to do all right and then when you love it express it in whatever of the four forms of of of, of vibrational intention right so if i love something and i'm thinking about it so much and i want it most of the time that thing happens it always comes into fruition this is how my life has always been everything i want i've always been getting a lot of things and i realize oh damn it's because i have a high i've always been an empath right until I figured out what I was, I never knew what I was. In the society I lived in, nobody knew what the fuck I was until I knew I picked myself up. So I know what I am and I know my power. So I've always been an empath and then I always manifesting things. Now, I remember when I was a kid, right? I wanted to get a PSP one time. Nobody could buy it for me. Mom refused, dad refused because like I grew up in Africa. So like the average, like where I grew up, the family I grew up, my kind of background, you know, we're not just giving things that like, you want, you know, you have to work for what you want. Like it's like, you get me? It's like, it's like yo, it's like, yo, bro, uh, your parents would be like, yo, the family like we need to pay the bills and do this and do that do this and do that and so therefore you understand you have to you know so therefore you have to um i can't give you all the things you want you get me so it's like yo so it's like you know and i wanted a lot of stuff i always like things so anyways i'll just go draw it down and the next thing you know this thing comes into fruition okay so now back to my four uh, intensity levels of setting you know of manifesting now after thoughts you come to the next one which is um speaking now this is affirmations right right so it is popularly known as affirmations remember there's intention now there's affirmation now affirmation definitely you need to 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 amplify any of the other levels of intensity right of intention vibration you need to add right thoughts and emotion emotion is important to add to everything because without emotion there is not going to be an interdimensional transfer of the message that you want to send to a higher source remember higher sources they work off of your heart so if your heart is not in tune if you are not in tune don't expect any of these things that don't expect anything in the universe to really work in your favor don't even expect crystals to work for you don't expect don't expect meditation music to even work if you're not naturally like forcing client, trying to incline yourself to that thing right a lot of people tell me they want to wear uh, crystals to cleans it you if you're not clean within the crystal cannot clean you without but with that being said now so when you speak things into existence this is a form of intention vibration and now tell me something when you speak things into existence and when you think about them which one has a faster way of coming into fruition yes as we said it is when you speak it into existence why because now you've spoken it into your auric field you've spoken it into or your aura you've spoken it into the world it's here it's here but you can't see it right and then you can't see it because now you should be wiser to know that damn sights the things i can see with my eyes are not really it's not really what it is so therefore anything that is governed by time space and matter should not be you know in a fifth dimensional perspective or rather let me just say you know if you're looking in 4d you must understand that anything that's governed by time space and matter like if you're thinking in the fourth density at this point is not really uh it's not really um that's not that's not what it is based upon all right so you must understand that when you speak things into existence what you're doing now is um creating you know you're um using your empathy in your heart to add to your 
vocal energy. What is sound? What is sound made of? Sound is made of, sound is just the arrangement of the atoms that are in the air already, all right? Sound is reaction of the atoms. Remember, this there is matter, right? So there's everything in this air as well. So sound is just a vibration. This is just something, uh, one part of our technology, all right? Part of the how our eyes is technology, all right? So this is just what you can use, a voice box to use to to to, to change uh, the content of matter in the air at will. All right, feel me? So with this being said, I mean, I hope you'll be able to understand about sound now. So that's what sound does, speaking things. Remember, first is thoughts and then is sound. Intensity, right? I'll still get to, I'll show you how all these things link. Now, after sound, now you have, like I said, what was after writing? Okay, so how many times have you written something down? How many times have you said something in an affirmation perspective, right? An affirmation, remember, is saying things with an emotional intention. Everything needs an intention, right? All these things are intentions, like I said, but putting an emotional thing into it is what amplifies it and make, can make it happen even 10 times or 20 times faster, depending on your vibration, okay? So now, um, like I said, how many times you write something down and you see that that thing came to fruition? It happens to me so many times. Then why, why? Then I got a book. When I understood, the further I went on in my understanding of manifestation, I realized, bro, you have to get a book. All right? Now, I got a book. I, have, I don't have one book. Let me show you something, right? I have several books, fam. Look, look, right? This is the thing. This is my thing, right? I'm a Virgo. I know who I am. I'm a Mercury. I know who I am. So generally, naturally, I have the, you know, I possess the abilities of Tohuti, right? And you must know what deity or what characteristics of deity is associated with who your sign is. This, look, and I'm not saying, look, I'm just saying this for me, right? Because it makes a lot of sense, right? I was born on a Wednesday, but I'm going to just skip all of that. Now, this is a book I have, right? This is a book. You see this? I'm going to just steal the camera. You see this? This is information. This is stuff I write, right? And the same thing for this other book. The same thing for this other book. You see that? So it's like, and these books are filled up, right? I literally have to buy a new book every now and then because I realize, damn, right? Like, I don't work for, no. I, I don't answer to nobody, no soul. I am my own boss. You get me? So I understand that, damn, for me to manifest things, look, there was a concert, a show I did, right? A show. I actually have successfully done a show, like a concert where people in the hood, I live in an estate, so there's a lot of youths. So they came to people, 300 plus people. I'm very serious, right? And it was, that show cost a lot of money, but that was when I realized my power <laughs> and manifestation, right? So what I did was that I did something. I told the universe, I'm going to have to sacrifice something because to be honest, I was running behind time. So I needed more time to, you know, make the show to come into, you know, fruition the way. But like, it got to a point I was actually expecting less. But trust me, at the end of the day, I got more. Why? There was something I did. I actually told the universe, you know what? I'm going to quit two things. I'm going to start semen retention. And this was in October when I started semen retention up till now that I haven't even failed. So that's like, I can't even count. I don't know how long I've gone. But the idea is that. I said semen retention. Then that was going on. That was helping me with some things. But I was not running behind schedule. Then I told the father, like a week or two weeks later, like into November, that was like, Father, and who is the father? The father is within me, all right? Don't think I'm externalizing my power. I know that God is inside me. So don't think I'm one of those people who always be looking up. Hell no. When I say I'm talking to the father, I'm just trying to generalize it. But then, I was I, so I spoke to the father through me, right? I said, Father, I need help. Right, I understand that. Like, I really don't have anybody to support me, but I need help to do this show. You know what? Then the father, then you know, then, you know what happens? How the father talks to you is not through words, or if it's through words, that word will be through people or through social media. But in my scenario, it was back in my in, in my consciousness. It was like my consciousness was already telling me what to do. Then I realized, damn, like it's me. All I'm waiting for is me, and I need to put in the intention. So at that time, I was reading a lot of books. I didn't really start to put my intention to that level of vibration. I was always stuck on the thinking intention and the speaking intention, so to say. And you know, but it's like, so I, so I told the father that I'm gonna, you know, uh, retain, right? And stop smoking weed. Weed was the big one, right? So the first time I ever stopped smoking weed in years of smoking, so I stopped smoking. Then while I stopped smoking, what happened eventually was that, you know, uh, <laughs> it was tough, right? I had to go through a dark night or the Sorry, my phone got cut out. My phone got cut out. All right, so I had to stop smoking and then smoke, stop into smoke. What was this doing exactly? This was like the universe will feel like the universe will know this guy who's always smoking. What what happened? Why did his vibration increase? Right. So what? Stop into smoke. This helped my sacral chakra. Right. And then your sacral chakra is 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 blocked by excessive pleasure. Right. And it is amplified when you maybe when you go sober or basically when you try to be creative and not uh when you start when you try to be creative right 
instead of um, 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 wasting your creative energy because your sacral chakra this has to do with your creative energy and your sexual energy so it's like have you ever noticed when if you're always having sex as that type of person you don't find that you can't be creative but right? I mean it's normal it's what it is and if you're creative if you love music like myself if you grew up doing music a lot you're not really gonna find you're not gonna be a such of a woman addict that is me all right you feel me and it's 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 what it is right because they come from the same energy pulse remember we have seven energy pulse in this physical body called the chakras or the arushat but that is for the chakras right that's what you need to know now um so that is what i did right so i did that and i realized something that amplified my vibration so when you say who is the father who is god god is vibration right and so in order to access god all you need to do is do the things within you that expose you to the vibration of being received or heard by god all right that's it's, 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 so, so that's what i did so so i stopped the weed right? and that's what that's why you fast when you fast when you stay without eating food that amplifies your intention setting so so basically what that means is that all you need to do is so that i'm fasting that simply means that so when i ask for things now they come more into fruition because that thing that is pleasure that thing that's holding down my flesh remember it has gone now i remember the sacral chakra is the seat of emotion the sacral chakra is where emotion is built the heart chakra is what converts emotion into empathy and, and creates that electromagnetic frequency the emotion is really built in the sacral chakra, right? The root chakra grounding, the sacral chakra creates the emotion after being grounding because everything is energy, energy in motion. It, it sets the energy that you have grounded in motion, all right? Then the solar plexus is the willpower chakra. So now that lets you use the energy willingly, all right? You see where the system is constructed. So that was the idea. So I realized I had to create some energy. Then I created some energy, all right? So then I started writing down stuff I wanted to do in my event and the whole event ball, it played out. You get me? So I... All of a sudden, I'll just be chilling, right? So I'll just be chilling, and the next time, I'll just get a download, like, why don't I try to edit? Why don't I try to draw down the plan, the plan of... And if y'all think I'm fucking with y'all, right? Like, I don't, I don't lie, right? I don't like to lie, right? I'll probably be a liar in the past or whatever, but I never saw myself as a liar, to be honest. I think I've always been a good boy. But, like, <laughs> I'm trying to be bad, you get? But anyways, fuck it. I don't lie. I don't enjoy lying because it's not my thing. It blocks the throat chakra. And then, so I must let you understand that, like, it's, it's, whole, it's part of my whole life. Like, I'm not leaving anything to fake it to anybody because that's faking it to myself. You are me, I'm you. So if I'm telling you something, you're helping me to tell that information to the father because we are all one, so we're all connected. You're helping me to tell and the father will be like, oh, he's lying, right? All right, let's delay his manifestation. Anyways, look at this picture, right? This is a, a, a diagram of, you see how complex it is? This is a diagram of the show, the plan of the event place. And it's simple. Like this, I drew the plan so that I can have a, 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 a quicker manifestation of. And the idea is everything works. So finally, the last one is action, which you already know what I'm going to say about action. Everything is a vibration of intention. Action is the final vibration of intention. This is why people who go after things, people who just have this any go after it mentality. That was where I had to build the mentality from. People who have the go after it mentality anyway, they are always winners. Why do they always win? Right? And I'm not saying people who work more and you know there's a difference between hard work and smart work. Don't get me wrong. But I'm saying the people who actually achieve things a lot of the time, right? Because they are go-getters, they don't know how to be negative. Because they first of all understand you need to speak positivity into existence, right? You need to think positive thoughts and apply emotion, then speak positivity into existence with emotion, then draw that thing or write it down or paste it on your wall. Can you see my wall? That's Egypt. This is what connects me to the source. Like anytime I want to come and just sit down in my room, when I wake up, that's the first thing I'm seeing. You see these other things here? That's Igbo. That's Asian, an Asian African, right? An Asian, 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 Asian that has been hidden. African, uh, hieroglyphic form of communication this is where i'm from right? this is like my original root so you get me so i have to draw this to connect me with my ancestors and let them know i right, look i'm present in this environment so anytime i look at it that is what it subconsciously tells me everything you see has a subconscious way of transforming the information into something in your mind into something inside you all right into manifesting into something a character a behavior but that's the whole concept all right so when you act upon things this intensifies this sends a stronger signal to the source it's, that's that's all right i've told you everything about affirmations about manifestation this is how you manifest but remember there is a journey that you have to put yourself in and this journey is not the type of journey this is not where don't let anybody look the reason why i'm manifesting look man look look around me right look i'm a successful young guy trust me i see myself as that because i know what i've been to and i know what i know i know i know way more than a bunch of people know but like the idea is the idea is, 
I manifested all these things because I always put myself in an emotional state. So let me close the video on this note, family. If you want to know how to manifest and you want to be a pro at manifesting, put yourself in an emotional state of being, right? Be an empath. Don't be afraid to be vulnerable. Don't be afraid to learn, all right? But the idea is you're going to get to a point where the secret, the idea is vibration. You're going to get to a point where you have learned, you need to learn the things you need to do to take care of yourself. You have learned, you've raised your spiritual consciousness, your spiritual vibration. Remember, we are not here. We are in the spiritual realm. We are spiritual beings having a human experience. So you must understand that. So in order for you, the spiritual realm is light. So in your common mind, you ask yourself, how can light be made to be Imagine we are living in a plane of light. Just close your eyes and try to imagine all you see is light. Everybody you see is light, right? Like there's no limitations. Like this third dimension that has been given with the limitation. It's just light. Imagine it's just light. So what does light have to do to be better off than the other light? It needs to be more illuminated. How do you illuminate your light? In a density perspective, in an energetic perspective, you humiliate your life by raising the vibration of that light. It all has to do with intensity. So what are you eating? What are you doing? What are you saying? Why are you speaking? Why are you downloading? Who are you hanging around? Right? What do you constantly put in your mind on a daily basis? What are the things you let to bother you? What are the things that bother your subconscious mind? In my mind, it's always about money, progress, development. Those are the things that... I, it's never about a, a girl. It's never about... It cannot be about a girl because like... You get me? That's just that's because I know what I'm on. I know what I want to get and I know the things that I need to be focusing on. So that's the whole concept. All right. So the kind of things you have on your mind are crucial. And in order to have things that pop up in your mind, like suggestions, like notifications, remember your mind is like a computer. So you have notifications. Your notifications are like your subconscious. Maybe when you just get a random message, that's like a subconscious, you know, re <laughs> it's like the, the, the universe is giving you back that intention that you set. So if I spend, let's imagine the first day you're trying to do something. It might be hard for, for you because the type of thoughts that might be coming into your head might be thoughts from what you have stored in from the previous day of fucking up. So you understand, everything is reacting to you. So I must understand that it is gonna, it's going to come back to me, all right? It's coming back to me. So if, you know, I, uh, so I understand this thing. Humans, it takes us seven days, right, to form a habit. It takes 21 days to create that habit into a lifestyle. So I've come to understand that if, you know, if it takes seven days, all I need to do is, right, for those seven days, now I need to keep doing something. This first thing you're applying will, it's going to be with will first. You need to show the will. That's solar plexus, action. That's why it's called will, because the solar plexus has to do with action. Action has to do with Mars. Are you seeing where it's all connected? So you need to apply will. You need to apply Mars energy. Action in this third dimension before you can see a faster level of, uh, of manifestation. So, um, yeah, that's it. Right? You need to put in your willpower. And that's all. That's really all. Uh, I think I, that's pretty much everything I want to say, family. Put in your willpower and, 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 and manifesting. That is how you manifest, my family. If you want money right now let me tell you something don't think if you want to manifest money like you're just gonna see a notification in your account don't don't let anybody make you feel like this stuff is juicy and it's, it's cartoon you're not just gonna see a notification or maybe expect yourself you did a business what is gonna happen is this is the spiritual idea and the spiritual system behind how that works right now this is a concept right get it this is the cocoa now if you probably are working on something and then somebody, you're waiting for someone to pay you, what is what's going to happen is you're going to see that it's going to be faster. The universe will make things happen in that person's life faster that will put the money, that will make the person pay you, right? The idea is not money, it's opportunities, right? Currency. It is currency, right? That is in, in place, maybe like your talents, your opportunities, something that you can do, right? So that is your talent. Your talent is already like a currency checkpoint, like a point... Your talents are what you can use to create currencies naturally, right? This is why it's advised that you build a talent. So currency is the idea. So when you have an idea of this thing they call currency, um, so what I'm doing now is I need to create, you create current, right? By making as much opportunities available in your environment, in your subconscious mind, in your field of being, right? You need to be open to all things. In my scenario now, like I've been a super creative all my life. I love to create. I love to, so I have 
a lot of things I do. I draw, I produce, I direct videos, I, I, I mix and master music. Like, I have a team that I work with that mix and master music. I do a lot of things, right? I can't, and I know I can't even mention, but I'm, I'm all rounder involved. I have, I love to do things that involve using my, both my right and, right and left brains, both my masculine and feminine energies, energies within me, because that keeps me whole and that keeps me in tune. When I'm living only masculinely, that can help. When I'm living only femininely, that can help. And remember, for the fact that you have money, that doesn't mean that you have everything. What you need to have is an infinite supply, a source, a stream of income, not just money. I don't want you to give me a million dollars. Don't do that. I don't want it. Give me an opportunity that will help me get a million dollars. But in order for me to get that million dollars, I need to have created value that is up to standard of attracting that million. So are you seeing the idea? That is how you manifest. Create the value for it. And then live all to the universe. Live all to the Father. Everybody is connected, right? So it could be just you. Somebody could be looking for, uh, let's imagine you, uh, you play hair. You play hair, right? Somebody could be looking for, you know, someone who could play their hair, right? Let's imagine you're a girl and you play hair. Someone could look for someone who play their hair. And then you have a business. The idea is that when you start to live righteously and you start to live with a high vibration, randomly, someone who, right, like, wants to play the hair off, maybe she has models, and then they have a, something, an event going on tomorrow, they will call your phone like, hey, I heard you want to mix hair. That's, the, that's how God works. That's how the universe directs people to you. So I don't want to make this video extra long. With all this being said, I have been able to touch and put my hands in everything I can say about manifestation. This is how you manifest. So don't think about the money. Think about, create the business, right? You don't even need to have friends. Forget that trick that if you have friends, then, and then, I mean, you don't need to have friends. You can do this thing on your own, right? That's the thing. That's what they don't want you to know, that everything is connected. You don't need to have friends. You don't need to be like, oh, if I have this person, this person is who's going to, you know, I need to fake uh, being this person's friend so that they can favor me. You know that fake friend shit so that you can... We all did that. I did that shit a lot of the time. And people did that shit around me. And people still do that shit around me. But I'm like, if only you understand who you're trying to fuck with. But the idea is, that's how it works. So, let go of... Um, some type of thought forms you might want to leave certain type of relationship you are in that's limiting you from figuring out i'm telling you and when you figure out when you start to live in this reality you'll be like damn how did i know this since but it's like that's how life is it's like the truth is always there but then you have to be in a range of consciousness to grasp it and prepare the opportunities to grasp it in my scenario now i'm living abundantly and i know that i'm even going to live better right i know that as the months go by as the weeks go by i see blessings every now and then like i'm, I'm actually like and i don't want to say blessings right i want to say blessings because blessings means less but I'm like i'm trying to get that idea it's like it's and it's not a joke right so the idea so i'm in tune with god so that's what i mean i'm in tune with god you know like i'm going to church every day that or that's not god that is that is that is satan that is and i'm going to wait till i make a next video about how religion and religious institutions are about you know are the other way around you get me so with all this being said family i know that i've said everything i need to say now and i'm not going to make this video longer again you are now multi-dimensionally tuning out of this video and that is all i want to say about manifestation this is how you manifest and control your reality so it starts within right as within so without create yourself within it might take a while it might take a month for you to build a couple structures but what will it take you to use a month to build and enjoy the rest of your life with that being said if you are wise if you really want change if you want something to change in your life and i guarantee you that this will actually change the way things are overall in your life do what i said right now do your research do some more research put yourself in tune but i'm 100 percent correct about everything i say because this is how i live my life multi-dimensional foster ebay peace out family yeah like comment and subscribe and please subscribe to my channel uh multi-dimensional beats where i'll be posting beats on there and um yeah fam and i'll do nato chat readings live uh nato reading sessions right so if you want to book a session hit me up in my instagram dm let's talk and then we'll book a session a complete nato live session i'll have that done all right and also my website will be out pretty soon my mailing list will be out as soon as possible Right? I'm working every day to keep the things moving in a high vibration so that we can all ascend together and have a higher state of consciousness. Peace and power, family. I'm out. Multi-dimensional.